or sell or the tracking Shopify app tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the parcel order tracking app into your Shopify store. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. You're going to need this specific app which is the parcel order tracking for your customers on the um, domain of tracking also the shipping area so if you are going to use the shipping or international shipping this is a vital app to get so now without a further ado we are going to uh, go to the Shopify store now we are going to uh, select the uh, search bar right here up top we're going to type in for sale like that or sell or sell here order order tracking so we are going to uh, search for it on the Shopify app store then we are going to see here the uh, the lot of apps and integration that are available so make sure to use the one that I am going to show you so here we have the parcel order panel order tracking uh, so we are going to select this one we are going to click on it then here we have it now all we need to do is to click on install so we are going to click on install then we are going to grant the permission for the app to be installed in our store by just uh, setting up an account within this uh, platform also this app but first we are going to permit the installation by clicking on install so right here i think it will be pop up on the apps then we need only to stick it at the app area here and as i told you here we have it this is the parcel panel we're going to click on the pin button here to pin it to our navigation so it will not go away and whenever we need it we are going to see it right away now we are going to see here the steps to complete the setup the first thing we are going to add tracking page here we have the tracking page we're going to add it click on add tracking page it will take you right here to the shop by setting online store navigation then we are going to see here what do we have so we are going to copy the link we are going to click on the main menu now we are going to add an item to the menu so we are going to name it for example tracking then for the link i'm going only to uh, add the specific app or the uh, link from the app so i'm going to add it then we are going to put it here up top now we are going to click on save then we are going to i have done this click on it this is the first thing Customize shipping a notification. This is the second thing. We're going to put the essentials here. Info received in transit. We are going only to uh, set up those. You can go ahead and edit the template. Here we have the template. These are some emails that will be sent to the clients whenever you're going to see here any or seek any development and processing of the uh, buying steps. So here we have tailored for Shopify here. We are going to update here those. So we are going to put it here. Drop shipping mode. You can go ahead and activate it. Uh, you can hide the Chinese origin to create a consistent branded shopping experience for your customers. This is most vital. And here we have the courier matching or the carriers. So we're going to, for example, for example, this enable those, uh, enable this one, for example. Uh, UPS Yanuan from China as used for AliExpress. Here we have a Siano. We are going to enable that and CJ Packet, FedEx, and etc. So when you finish all of these, you're going back to the uh, Procell panel. Here we have completed uh, nearly all the steps. We're going to enable the dropshipping mode, which has been already enabled. So we are going to go back to the personal 
we have it now the last thing is going to be fully um, marked how parcel uh, panel will work or works we're going to see here a guide and an example so right here we are going to see the statistics go ahead and check those statistics once you are or once you have made the installation so here we have the shipment status you're going to see anything here as a graph as you can see so we are going to see here we have also the help center you can go ahead and see the tracking page and customize it so we are going to tr click on tracking page so here we have the appearance you can go ahead and put the container width by pixel or by percentage here we have the progress bar you are going to modify the progress bar for example i'm going to make it a little bit here clearer not the um as you can see here the dark uh, the uh, dark green so we are going to see here the as you can see here the uh tracking bar or process this is much uglier so we are going only to set or refresh it so this is more softened for the eye so here we have the uh, as you can see the tracking page the order number uh, the email or the phone number tracking number also you can track by those two one of these two you can see here the progress from the ordered order ready transit out for delivery and delivered we're going to see here the tracking the test product or the product that you have been or has been uh, uh, sent to the client we are going to see here the um, the map and here we have the history of the uh, tracking or the shipment so we're going to close this page and here we have uh, some uh, modification to the layout or the design we have horizontal or mobile vertical or mobile we have also the theme mode light or dark mode you can set a lot of things from here for example the tracking results you can add one of these or all of these for example shipment display options and etc we have also the languages you can go ahead and see here the languages you can enable the automatic uh, language uh, switching here we have the SE optimization you have tracking page URL we're going to put here the URL CSS and HTML for any modification for that specific case so now let's head over the orders and see here all the um, statistics we have one pending order and we have the order number the tracking number you can go ahead and add a tracking number to it for example here you are going to put it uh, you are needing to set an automation for this one and here we have the protection or free delivery here we have some insurances that can be right here set with this system we have the settings for this app as you can see and we have the integration here we can add some integration within this specific app to your store we have yotpo email marketing sms paypal Zendesk and etc. We have also Shopify Flow, which is automating automating a process, and we have the bundling. So you can go ahead and start the seven days free trial, or you can go ahead and uh, here um, fast to the other uh, premium plans. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content, and hope to see you soon on the next one.